Hey everyone, welcome to the Porage. I've been promising a studio tour, and today you get to see it finished. Even the ceilings. <laughs> okay, so I'm coming down the steps here. This is my shipping center. I have all my boxes and printers and everything here. Everything's convenient. This is where I box all the auction wins and get them ready to go. And Ellen grabs them and takes them to the post office. So we have a little bit of extra paint up there and some supplies. But other than that, that is my shipping area. So then we have the big armoire. And inside of the armoire is all my Soho and Creative Inspirations paint. Those go, those big bottles go three back, so it's pretty full. But that's where I keep that. And then I have some other paints on top there, would be my um, artist loft and my flash color ships and in the bins are um, Liquitex and I think they're Blick and all those other ones. So here is where I mix paint and of course I watch TV while I'm mixing makes it go a little faster. But those are all my Soho's. And this rack here is just some craft paints there that I mix up once in a while, not too often. And all my metallics are on this side. And most of you know, this is our paint wall. This is where we make our videos and where we film live. So I think we have 119 bottles, uh, but I'm not sure. Last time I counted it was 119, but I think we've added a few. Okay, so then, of course, this is what you hear in all of our videos. That's our heater and our AC unit, which vents outside. So it's pretty good ventilation. These are all our supplies. And then when we get done with the painting, we bring it to this rack here, where we let it at least surface dry and then it goes into the big bun rack um, to cure for about a week. And then we'll take it out of there and take it to the other racks, which you'll see in a minute. But this is um, our canvas warehouse, we call it. We have tons of canvas and we have all different kinds. I'm just so close here. Let me get to the other side here. It'll be a little bit easier to show you. But we have the ovals on the bottom and the small ones. Um, 10 by 20s and 16 by 20s. Then all of our squares and then all of our rectangles. And those are all our big ones up there that we rarely paint on, which we need to do. And then I have a couple of big ones there. And these are all our birch boards and our end tables that we pick up. At roses for like $9.99 that we will um, pour on and then resin and of course I have tiles I call that my baby powder bath they sit there for weeks um, in the baby powder and I am going to show you that big roll there in the back I am going to show you what that is Monday night and I'll share that with y'all this is all my jewelry making stuff um, I have bins of different things, findings and such, and skins, so that's that. All of this under plastic is what I have in my Etsy shop. It's all protected, boxed and protected, so it doesn't get dusty or dirty or anything. And those are all paintings that are going to get varnished tomorrow. And I'll come over here. These are all our ready-to-finish paintings, although I have a pile there that Nate wanted but he didn't get to take home so I may be shipping those to him <laughs> but these are all paintings that are ready to be varnished some of them have a little varnish on them um, this rack here is all paintings that will be getting resined so those 
there. And then behind me was the double workbench. Um, I bought another one before Nate came, so we both had our own work area. And that's where I prep canvas, and on this side is where I prep um, resin work. So then behind me, I don't want to trip, I have stools here. All my junk under there, I hide it all. Um, that's our bun rack for resin painting. So I have some boards in there that are primed that need to be sanded and need another coat. Those are going to get done tomorrow as well. And this is our resin table. Soon to be filming because we already hooked up everything. My new monitor came where I can actually see the questions as they come in. So we'll be filming on this table for resin work. And of course those are some prizes we're giving away tonight. And we did get some stools, but, and then behind me, of course, are tons of boxes and soda. <laughs> I gotta have some place to store the soda for the kids and for Alan. But, yeah, we've got lots of boxes ready to um, box up the prizes for tonight. Do you see those big brown boxes? I got like 200 of those for 25 bucks from a company that was going out of business. So that's what is on the other side of the freezer. There's two rows of those. So yeah, we have a ton of boxes. These are great for um, 10 by 20s. And they're actually 30 inches long, so I just cut them. But yeah, they they work great. So I might be able to use those for smaller paintings if people are buying um, more than one. And of course, this is our overflow rack, Alan's gadgets, stir sticks, resin stuff. And, of course, the back of the monitor. And this is stuff that I need to take care of um, and decide if I'm going to resin or what I'm going to do with it. So, yep. And overflow of canvas there. And overflow of canvas on top of that, those two racks there. And then up, we have three cases of canvas and bubble wrap. And then over here, we have two cases of canvas and gloves um, we share gloves with TJ so when he when I buy his I buy mine <laughs> and then we have two more of those um, uh, what I call them ceiling racks but they're not but we have paper towels and um, bottles and such over there but yeah guys you finally got to see it finished um, Loving the heater, keeps it 72 in here, and in the summer it keeps it about 70 with the AC on. We have it up on bricks because it's kind of a dehumidifier as well, which works great in the studio. And we let the water drip into the pan, and then we just dump the pan. But that's what you hear in the background. Um, and this, of course, is heaven for me, my little spot. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little tour. Um, if there's anything that you want to see up close um, that you didn't get to really focus in on, just give us a shout and we're more than happy to send you a picture. All right, guys, we'll see you soon for the drawing. We're just about there and we will be drawing tonight. So we'll see you then. Bye.